As Pinker put it very aptly, he said, the, the mind is what the brain does. So it's a sort of, I, mean, I hate the analogies of software and hardware, but yeah, the mind is the operating system in many ways. Most people would assume that the mind is separate to the body. Uh, but neuroscientists tend to sort of be more materialistic about that process. But let's just assume that you've gone for the mind being separate from the body. Then once the body's gone, if you don't see it as being tethered to the body, then that allows for a whole lot of uh, beliefs. So it could be things like astral planning, you know, leaving your body and traveling around the world or projection, all the sorts of things that people readily acknowledge or uh, identify with as being phenomena that they think they've experienced. You know, there are a lot of natural phenomena that people reinterpret as supernatural. It's not to say that these things couldn't possibly happen. I mean, for example, take telepathy. Uh, telepathy in its current state, we would argue, well, being able to read someone's mind without technology would be a supernatural ability. But, you know, you've worked with uh, computer human interfaces. It won't be long before you can actually start to read the output of the, the brain, and maybe that could be transmitted to another person. In effect, you could read minds at a distance. So uh, it's not impossible, but at the moment, it's just not as improbable, given our current understanding of the technology and our scientific theories. Mm -hmm.